All right, if you've been following this little series, this is our last series because we only have a little bit of boxes left, but I think they're gonna be the best ones. We purchased this unit for $629. We've been rounding up to 650. We have two other videos that show a whole bunch of stuff we found, but we were just clearing some stuff out and we did find another 10 karat gold ring. So that's not bad. How many is that? That's probably like our fifth ring, mm -hmm. fifth or sixth gold ring. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in the keep pile. And what we're gonna go through right now is a ton of boxes back here. They have, it looks like they have toys in them. This one definitely has baseball cards. It looks like it says from the 90s, 91. We know that's not that great, but the stuff in this unit has been absolutely old. We found stuff back from 1867 mm -hmm. and then some toys already from the uh, mid 80s. So without further ado, let's get into these boxes. We, we also almost positive that there has been a mouse in here doing mouse things. Is there a hole in the bottom of this thing? All right, we got this little box right here. Oh, look at these. Right. Now we're talking old. Wow, I never would have thought that would be in that box. Yeah, look at this old spinner right here made of wood. Some of these old fishing lures can be worth so much money. We've already found a whole bunch of other fishing lures on the other one, but that is a really good really good find right there got some more fishing stuff right here we've been finding wallets and most of the wallets just have like personal stuff in it but each one of these wallets are almost exactly the same and this change purse on all of them is full of change so this one again full of change we're probably up to what maybe six bucks yeah. ten bucks twenty bucks and change and in the other videos we also did find some coins some collectible coins so that was cool this old tape measure that is it old tape measure Stanley United States, made in the United States tape measure. That thing is cool. That thing is at least worth $10. This box looks pretty rough. If you want to get in here and take a look at what I'm looking at, it looks rough. So that's why I'm uh, just trying to pick out the stuff that looks interesting. We'll go through everything, but a, a, an animal has definitely been in here doing animal things. What in the world is this thing? What is that? We'll have to look that up. Oh, geez. Could be a murder weapon, we don't know. That's Moving. what it looks like. Yeah, I mean, it definitely looks like a murder weapon. Moving on to another box. We haven't seen the mouse yet though, which is interesting. Most of the clothing that we're coming in contact with is no good. Look at this thing. Robin Roth, huh. little carry thing, peace, love, there's something in it. Oh, it's a button. Brand new little bag right there, that's not too bad. Moving on to the next box. So, so far we found a murder weapon and some golf and some uh, fishing stuff. That's not bad. Just the amount of different stuff in here is mind-boggling. Just like the boxes are full of just... Oh, I see a Barbie. Oh, that's like clothing. <gasps> Old Barbie clothing? Old Barbie clothing. Let's see if we find a quick date on this. Everything has been from the uh, early 90s or... It was 250 back in the day. It's from Japan. So I we'll don't definitely know. Definitely need to look those up. We'll definitely be looking. Are... Yeah, we'll definitely be looking that stuff up. This looks a little bit more interesting. There looks to be. There's a brand new wallet. Think about the stuff that's been in here. Everything is basically dry rot. There's nothing. Here we go. Oh, sterling silver not in the box. This is one of those little clocks that are the travel clocks in super good condition. Some of these go for like 10 bucks. Is there a Furby in there? There is a Furby. I didn't even see him. He still has the tag on him. Holy cow. He's a tiger Furby. They usually have the date, 1998. Nice. So that's not bad right there, I'll Furby. Look him up. Sometimes Furbies can go for... Yeah, if they have the box, I think it's a little more, but that's okay because some Furbies do go for... What is this? I remember this could be like Cinnabar that... uh. Yeah. You remember that stuff, right? Yeah. There's a way to test it. It actually has like mercury in it, I'm pretty sure. That's what gives it the color. And if you don't know what that is, just Google it. It's actually pretty toxic, I think. So if it's the real stuff, you can't really keep it on your hands for a long time. We found a lot of rosaries in here and they do sell online. A lot of them are sterling silver. That's what this is in here. It is a, uh, a big old rosary in there. This thing caught my eye. What do you think this is? What is, it's just like a neat little it's like a stand. Th is this something. like sage or something? That goes to that. That sits on top of that. Whoa, look at this. Not How is that not broken in all the years? I, I would go ahead and put no this over idea. here real yeah. quick. Yeah. Got Pee Wee Herman. <gasps> what? I wonder how old he is. And another one. I'm Pee Wee Herman. Look at these guys. Wow. 
I wonder how much they go for. Yeah, this, that's his chair. That's his chair. Look at that. Huh. That's pretty neat, right? It's not too shabby. A big old Simon Says from back mm -hmm. in the day. Aren't they worth some money? Mm -hmm. Modern collecting of dolls. Some of these doll books can be worth a decent amount of money. Mm -hmm. uh, Mill Bournes, the French card game. Mm -hmm. Found a lot of French money, we think, too, in here, so which is pretty interesting. Definitely a mouse doing mouse things in here. We haven't seen him, though. Where do you think he is? Here's some uh, Alabama meatloaf. Alabama. We got the old Good CD. Good taste in music. Yeah, we got the old CD player. Is that Queen? Queen live. We'll keep actually all the CDs. We'll go through them and if they're in good condition, we'll lot them up um, on eBay and sell them in big lots. The smell is actually pretty good right now. It doesn't smell. It just smells super like. A, oh, are these old? We'll have to look this up because a lot of these old lights can go for a decent amount of money. Mm -hmm. These right here, are like the old. I'm gonna say that they're old, so we'll put those in the keep pile. Yeah, see, like this is all vintage Christmas, but like a lot of these little oh, figure, yeah, yeah a lot more of those. more of the figures. We did look one of these up, and they were going for fifteen dollars a piece, and we have probably like hundreds of them because they're made out of cast. These are like cast, as you tell right there on the bottom, they're metal. So you know, you're talking like they're even five dollars a piece or even a dollar a piece. We have well. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars in those vintage guys, which is pretty cool. Oh, number one, what is that? Special gift for you. All right, this is neat. I wish we found more. Oh, there's a nativity scene in here. Nativity scenes can be worth a lot of money. Number four, looks like it's got a warp in it. Do the warp test. No, it's actually not that bad. It doesn't say where it's made from, so it's, it's got not. got a scrape on the bottom. It's got a scrape on the bottom. Um, this in here, and see, this is the stuff we'll go back, but some of this, these old vintage ornaments go is, for... There are vintage ornaments in there, too? Look. <gasps> like, look at this guy. Right? Holy cow. Like, I mean, he's got a little thing on his nose, but... It doesn't matter. Those yeah, are really like this. Cool. Look at the stars. Yeah, these, this stuff is old. That's flocked. That's what that means right yeah. there. We learned that. So, you're talking... I mean, there's probably $100 in this bag in vintage ornaments because we sell, oh, look at him. You know that thing is old, maybe. Yeah, 100%, it's like made out of paper. So, very cool stuff in there. I'm very interested. Do you remember these? You'd go on vacation and get them? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, March of Dimes, two little March of Dimes things. That's pretty cool. That See, this cool. stuff sells. I don't know what it is. Cactus? I don't know. This is going to be delicate. So what we're going to do is go ahead and turn the camera off and we'll we're, we're, we're come inside and take a look real quick. There is a whole bunch of the nativity scene right there. We're going to see if it's all here. All right, so we only went through that box and here it is. And you said these are from Italy. So we'll see if we can do some better research on that. Also in the box that we didn't see and we would like to show you all is this really cool glass ball. It doesn't have a polished bottom though. Which is the only thing, but that thing is wild looking, right? Mm -hmm. That thing actually makes your eyes trippy. And then also we did find some 1990s NHL cards. And again, we have a ton of cards back here we're going to go through. So right now we're getting more into the collectible part of it, um, which that we could actually, we actually didn't see, see this in the pictures at all. They were hiding behind it. So maybe the good stuff is in. We still got that box we still got like seven boxes to go so definitely awesome stuff next box this one is like super duper heavy yeah something going on in here dude some of this stuff dolly's dolly's yeah some dolly's. of this stuff can go for big money big 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 money we got tons of this stuff and this is for like uh place settings or whatever back in the day right i'm mm -hmm. correct on that mm -hmm. and some of that stuff can go for a lot of money that's in good condition we do have some babies <laughs> You know my thought process on little baby <laughs> babies. That? I don't know. That thing's scary. We do have some Barbies too. Oh, Barbie. Wow. I don't know where. Oh, crap. This is 1966. Oh wow. So 1966 Barbie right here, and they're all clothed with. I think these are all from the 60s. We'll just go through them really quick. Is that from um the Disney one? Oh wow, that's Cruella Deville. Look who this is. What's Where's the year the... on that? 
Holy cow. We'll be, again, we'll be finding these and throwing salt. In Toto. And, and Toto. And Toto's in there. So that's pretty good. C Cinderella lost her shoe. All right, you got another Barbie here. Oh, she is pretty. Is that Marilyn Monroe? That is Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe, Bart, how much does that go through? Why do they keep losing their shoes? <laughs> They've been in this box. They've got stands too. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. This box is. This box is cool. So, look at this. Navajo. It says lot, a lot. I don't know what it says on it. But that is beautiful. Uh, they all have stands. Here's another Barbie. This one's 1983. Huh. So we have them from the 60s to the 80s. For sure. If you look in this box real quick, there are a ton of little knickknacks in here. Like. A ton. Yeah, I see. I don't know if these things are gonna be worth a lot of money. That's just like a ceramic thing. Oh, jeez. It says their names Barbie as Marilyn. So it's another Barbie. And all of it says collector's edition. I think all, um, 1985. That one. Is we'll go ahead and go through this box and see exactly what we find. Uh, this, hold on, real quick. This is a, uh, a blue bird. Me and Dad found a blue bird one time. And this is the only stuff that we found so far that is bubble wrap, right? Nothing else has been bubble wrap. This is not a bird. It is a bird. Is, is that, that a bird? It's a bird. That's wild. That's a bird? Yeah, see its head and its tail? No. Yeah. Polished bottom. Oh, he's broken. He's supposed to have a beak. See it? Uh, um, okay. All right. Well, all right. So we did go through that box, the one that had everything in it, you know, the glass things that we didn't want to go through because some of it was broken. And we got it home, and this is the stuff that we got out. We got some really cool glass balls here. We got some ceramic stuff, more ceramic stuff. And we got some old bottles. I don't think the old bottles go for a, lot of, a whole bunch, but I did see there's a Coca-Cola bottle out there that has, I think, from Japan or something that goes for like three, four hundred bucks. We got th this almost looks like silver or something right here. Maybe not. Okay, definitely not silver. It is definitely 100% pewter there, but that's pretty cool. And all this is older. All right, but we might have found a gem right here. Now, this is the Emirate, I think it's how you say it, Emirate. Kelly Jr. exclusive set. And these clowns, I don't think, go for a ton of money, but there's something special about this one, I think. I don't know, and if you know, please tell me down below, did he ever actually sign them? I did look to see if there, some of them were signed. Some of them were signed. A lot of them are not signed on the front. Some of them are signed with that type of marker on the bottom, but it has his signature right there, and then it says 1988 right there. So we don't know if that's legit, if it is actually signed by him. There's a lot of them going for like three or 400 bucks. I don't know, tell me down below if you think that's actually a real thing or somebody just wrote his name on the side. So I have no idea. I don't even know how we would authenticate that if that was. So definitely cool there if that is, because that could be a huge gem there. All right, next box has a ton of newspaper in it. Like old newspaper, which is pretty cool. Framed artwork. This is heavy. Oh, these are glass. <gasps> these are the glass shelves, I guarantee you. Oh, that go into the... the that go into the cabinet because we didn't have any of the shelving. Look at these. These are a whole bunch of spoons. <laughs> <laughs> Two spoons. You don't see what I see. Hold that thought about the whole bunch of spoons. Nice old holy Bible there. <gasps> it's a turtle. That's not a turtle. Yeah. That's a bird. No, it's a turtle. A turtle dove? No, it looks like a turtle. That's a dove. That's a bird. Oh, that's just a bird. <laughs> I see his beak. <laughs> I thought this was his head. No. And this was his arms. No. All right, check this stuff out. Kind of looked like a turtle from that end. Look, these are all spoons. Now, I know that these can go, you know, like five bucks or something like that. Not even sometimes. Sometimes they're silver. But we have a whole bunch of them. So if you lot them up, you know what I'm saying? And these have got to be old, probably from the 90s. Right? Believe. I mean, they're all over the place. This used to be a big thing, collecting spoons back in the day. This thing out. Is that roach alive? Yeah. Dead roach. Holy. Yeah. That's what they used to keep them in. You really hit that aggressively. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> There's glass there. <laughs> I was super excited. Super excited about all. This, some of those can go for good money. Oh yeah, because some of them can be silver. So this is actually a pretty big score. I, I mean, even if they're worth a dollar a piece, I mean, we got $50 in spoons right now. So 
Oh, wow. What is that? Oh, it's shattered. Dang. I don't know how in the world you would ever ship that if you were going to sell that. Oh. I mean, that's, uh, that's Very insane. breakable. Yeah, this one is, see that? It's, it's broken all over the place. You can tell it's old, though, because look at that. That's a shame. That is a shame. That is sad. Okie dokie. Moving on. We found these guys. I don't know where they're, what they go to, but they're interesting. They're from 1994. Again, if you know what things are, always tell us down below because we don't know anything and we learn a lot from y'all. <laughs> um, old vintage watches. Actually, you know the Timex Indigo, Indiglo stuff? It goes pretty good even in non-working condition. I've sold this as high as like $10. This I'm interested in. It looks like there's some, oh, these are just bobbers. That's okay. That's okay. We need some more. Here we go. Book. Um, it looks like Barbie. What was that? They're working over there. No, I just heard like a noise, like a mouse. There, we haven't seen the mouse yet, but it's coming. All right. Look how old this is. <gasps> wow. It's got a couple cracks in it, but nothing broke. Do you see that? I do. That's pretty. That's wild. That is. Well, again. It's gonna be hard to go. Is there a name brand? No. What do you think's in this? I don't know. There's two of them. Oh. And they're full. We'll go over there in a second. We'll continue on. Take a look inside of here. It, oh, is that a. What is this? That is the thickest piece of glass I've ever seen. Huh. Then again, you know, back in the day, they probably had thick coat. You can't. This is heavy. No wonder people were stronger back in. This thing weighs a pound of glass. Very interesting looking. Please don't be broken. Isn't that neat? That is neat. Uh, there's a name over it there. It's made in China on it. Really? Dang it. Did that come from Walmart? This come from Walmart. I'm super excited about it. Doesn't... Hey, we love Walmart stuff. We don't do like me Walmart wrong. stuff, so. Uh, the rest of this in here, we will we will take home. They're like old 7-Up cans. I don't, I mean bottles. I don't think they go for a whole bunch of money. What do you think's in here? It's movable. I can't even open it with these gloves on. <gasps> it's a whole bunch. Oh Is this the same thing? Oh my goodness. It is a whole bunch. All right, so we already went through these boxes, and we have a ton of these old German Christmas tiny little figurines. I think that we have like... 40 of them and they actually sometimes can sell between 10 and 25 dollars a piece and then that's just a part of this so we're thinking that we have probably six to seven hundred dollars just in the smaller figurines in this box now i could have looked up the most expensive one to be honest with you but i've seen one of these go for like 15 dollars so kayla will have the the fun time looking these bad boys up now oh is that a cash box is there cash in it I don't know, only one way to find out. Let's start going through this bad boy. Okay, here are some rotisserie gloves from the rotisserie. Wow. We got some stuff in here. Is that the first night? Oh, I thought it was sealed. I was like, oh, that could be pretty cool. Empty box here. I really thought that would have something in it. But look at the uh, this guy right here. 1984. Something else. All right, so 1991, probably not worth a ton of money in here, but we will go through all these cards. This stuff right here, I don't think goes for a whole bunch of money. Hopefully there's some older ones in here. This one, they're not brand new either. That says 1990 Fleer. That's what this is. So uh, probably not a whole bunch there. Interested. Oh, this old Scrabble game. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Really? To have, you can you can actually sell the Scrabble pieces. Let's open it up. See what is in there. Yeah. Hmm. So I guarantee you that would probably be worth just that little piece, probably like ten bucks. Another one of these games. Cash box. Holy I think cow. somebody forgot their key. Forgot their key. It's nothing in it. Oh, there's stuff in it. It's just paperwork. Yeah, because here's the other lamp right here. To one of the lampshades. Huh. 
So we will keep those 100%. But it's just a whole bunch of, and this, whatever this is got super hot. Like it's been sitting in here in the south for a very, very, very long time. So that's not bad. Honestly, $650, I think that we did probably triple that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a lot of work. This one was the most work we've, I think we've done. Mm -hmm. And number one, it was the biggest unit. It was one that has the most items, but also it has the biggest things. Like we have to get rid of this furniture, which is never fun um, and it's destroyed. So we can't even donate it, give it away for free. Like we have to go dump it, which is gonna take a while. So I do appreciate everybody watching. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, comment down below, like the video. You know, I will always get you on the next one.